Yo, what up everyone? How you doing? Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna get straight into this with a brand new clip of the day and it is with uh, GTA. This is me playing. So as you can see, I'm about to parachute out. Uh, me and some uh, homies are playing. Alright, so you can see the chopper. He usually doesn't really come near you for a while. And uh, as you can see, I'm about to parachute. Boom, I pull out the parachute and holy shit i just got sliced up in half and i'm just twirling like a little fag that was just crazy but then another really interesting moment i had here um i didn't even notice because i'm actually decent on gta quite decent and i'm i don't know why i'm really good at shooting a moving target so i thought hey wait a minute and I, I look how fast i took this guy one boom smack so basically we play this game mode um where basically two people get into a, like an insurgent or whatever and they have to get away and they have to go all the way around the highway and reach the airport before they kill us like they gotta reach the airport before they get killed and uh, this time it got a bit different we saw the trains so we we're like you know what? let's get out of the car and we go on the train and that was one of the guys trying to chase us and boom we killed him but yeah <clears throat> if you guys want to join into some of these fun game modes we do um <clears throat> you can follow me on twitter or uh, wait for my tweet or just go on my uh, xbox gamer tag send me a message it's the emperor hd like my youtube channel now we're gonna get into a little bit of some wicked wicked retro i don't know why i did that that was so lame yeah we're gonna do some retro fifa and uh as you can see, I'm stacked on this club, more stacked than a stack of pancakes. As you can see, we're going with 90 rated. That's the highest uh, Neymar you could get on the on FIFA 14, and uh, he's sick. And uh, striker, we're going with someone different. I thought let's do one without uh, with someone we haven't used. So it's uh, Legend Burkamp, and right wing we have uh, Luis Figo. Now finishing in camp position is the guy that got removed from FIFA. Um, and uh, he's what? It's Romario. He's insane in camp position. Probably center forward be, would be really good for him, but he's extremely weak. That's probably the only problem. Now, Mateus will take center mid position, one of the best central midfielders after Hullet, and I really enjoyed using him. Now, we go to a legend, a Barcelona and Spain legend, Xavi Hernandez, who I miss dearly. I also, when I keep looking at his stats, I think it doesn't really look like a team of the year stats, like 72 pace, barely even 70 shooting, was it? But it's just the dribbling and the passing that's insane. He is a fantastic card, don't get me wrong. Just because his stats don't seem like a team of the year for an overall 95 card, that doesn't mean he's amazing. He is truly the one of the best central midfielders I've used on the game now moving to the last four at the back we have Jordi Alba a lot of pace and uh, Gary Neville right back remember there are no legends uh, uh, left back when they first came out on FIFA 14 center backs are going with Maldini and Sergio Ramos um, they're just what, can, what more can you ask for two both 86 pace if I'm not mistaken finishing it off we have Jens Lehmann in goal now the bench is just for colorful you know make you look like oh like that you know it's kind of like a design thing I don't know why I do that but I think it looks better than just having a full legend bench but yeah as you can see um there's some really good uh, players on the bench i don't know what i'm saying really good fantastic bench amazing re reserves um to be honest when you look at the bench and you compare it to the starting lineup it, it's a lot better isn't it the bench than the starting lineup but uh but still it's just for fun trying out different players uh, as you, and also i'd like to mention if any of you have any fifa 14 items on xbox 360 or xbox one you don't need on fifa 14 or fifa 15 maybe you can let me borrow and i can do some videos on it for you like adam Corey did for me um uh, that'll be truly i'll be totally appreciative and i'll give you a shout out as well and uh yeah if you don't basically if you're not using any of them and you like and you can lend me the account i'll be more than happy to do a video and give you credit as well but uh, yeah, so FIFA 14, I'm, only, I'm not really looking for many. I've lent Castro, my Hullet, and Timothy Ronaldo. I should probably get that back. Um, but if you guys have one, maybe you'd like to... Uh, uh, if you don't need, maybe I could borrow for a game. That would be totally sick. But I have a pretty stacked club, so I only pretty much need... I think Hullet and Pele to complete this club. Uh, maybe a Team of the Year Ibra? Not too sure, but yeah. Anyways, the club is really amazing, so we can do many, many more... Uh, uh, retro videos for you of your choice you can also mention down below i was thinking about something to do with like legends that aren't on fifa anymore like Henri, ronaldinho etc i think it'll be totally sick now we only managed to play one game unfortunately i tried to invite a friend but it was too laggy the fifa 14 servers are just totally poo so i managed to find one which wasn't too laggy and i only ha i could only play one like i said due to the lag so uh yeah, and it's a pretty sweaty team, not gonna lie, but it's no match for a team like this, right? I always, I still believe my theory where when the game, the current uh, FIFA is out, you experience, um, uh, why have I gone blank? Um, you experience, like, um, why have I gone blank again? Uh, what do you call it? When you experience handicap, that's it. Like, when you have an expensive team and you face, uh, like, a cheap team, you feel like everything is going to the cheap team, uh, the, the cheap team guy's way. It does feel like that. Look at this lovely ball from Xavi. Absolutely deli delicious, delightful, delicious. Oh, cool. That's a two-in-one word. But, yeah, um, it is a really amazing team. And uh, I do feel like there's handicap when it's the current FIFA. But once we move on to the next FIFA, like FIFA 17, I will not feel it on this 
uh, on FIFA 16. So that's what I felt on FIFA 14. There was no handicapness. I know that's not a word uh, on FIFA um, 14. I don't get why. It's so strange. It's like once you stop playing it, it's like FIFA take off that that mode. You know, it's really strange. But I just really don't lose a game whenever I go back to doing a retro squad. Obviously, I have an amazing team, but if this was FIFA 14 time, I'd probably be losing so many due to handicap. I don't know. Probably I'm not making sense to a lot of you, but I personally feel that with a lot of expensive teams. Now, um, it is a really overpowered team. Probably the top three players would have to be It's really tough. Definitely Mateus, Xavi, and probably Burkamp. I don't know. Would it be Neymar? Very tough, but it was. it isn't Figo, even though he scored one of the goals, but... It's just, it was really tough. Probably Van Basten, actually. Van Basten, Mateus, and uh, Xavi, definitely. Really important players in the squad. Did give away a runabout and a few others, but yeah. Just a nice little test for you guys to remember the retro FIFA 14 uh, players, what they're like. As always, subscribe to my channel if you're new. Don't forget to hit that like button. Have a wonderful day, guys. Peace.